family mode. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for a very exciting webinar called All About the New Donate Now Pages from Canada Helps. My name is Amy, Amy and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at Canada Helps and I'm very excited to take you through this uh, presentation today and preview the new pages for you, all you great charities that use Canada Helps. So, um, I'm just going to start. So at Canada Helps, of course, we want you to have the best, very best fundraising tools available so that you can raise as much money as possible for your great causes. That's why we felt it was time to give the Canada Helps Donate Now pages a revamp. So we've designed the pages to be mobile optimized, to make the donation process more seamless for your donors, and the design much simpler. And we'll, I'll show you everything um, through the course of the presentation. And I just want to um, tell you that the new Donate Now pages will be released into your My Charity accounts for all charities on December uh, 4th, which is next Tuesday. So that will be available in your My Charity account. So it's, right now it's not available, but they will be available on Tuesday. And I just also wanted to point out that the current functionality of the Donate Now pages will continue to work and be available for you alongside the new Donate Now functionality. So um, you don't have to switch anything over on the 4th. Um, you can, everything will work as it should, but if you do want to experiment with the new pages on the 4th, you can do so. Um, so let's begin. So first, there's a few more remind reminders for those of you who have um, joined us for webinars before. You can hear us, but um, we can't hear you. And for the best webinar experience, please close all other applications so that um, you can hear me and, and, the, and the, the slides are in sync with my voice. Um, turn up your computer's volume if you're having trouble hearing. And if you have any questions at all, my colleague Lynn is on the line as well, and she is going to be answering questions throughout the presentation, but I'm all, there's also a question period at the end of the uh, webinar. And yes, the webinar slides and recording will be shared um, after the webinar. Probably t tomorrow you'll receive um, an email from GoToWebinar, thanking you for joining us, and um, in that thank you web in that thank you email, you'll receive links to the slides and recording, so you can share that with your colleagues and review it, and um, share it with your board or whoever else you'd like to share it with. And real quick, this is me again. I'm Amy Huynh, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at Canada Helps. I know some people like to see the face of who's talking, so I'm not just like a, a voice in your in your ears. So enough about that. That's our housekeeping for today. So let's get right down to it. So first, let's talk about, I want to talk about the way the Donate Now button slash pages currently work. So here we are on a charity's website. This is Vancouver Fringe Festival's website. So when a donor decides to donate, um, they click the Donate Now button located on your website. So on this website, it's right here. Um, as you can see on the uh, left side on the panel there. So when a donor decides to donate, they click this um, button, as you know, and this is the unique link and standard image you get from your Canada Helps My Charity account. So I'm going to donate to Vancouver Fringe Festival, and what happens when I click that button is I'm taken to um, CanadaHelps.org to securely complete my donation. Um, here we are on the donate page, the Vancouver Fringe Festival's donation page on CanadaHelps.org. You're all familiar with this uh, process here. So on the first page, the donor is asked to fill out donation amount, donation frequency, a message for the charity if they would like, um, if they'd like to dedicate um, the donation, all that kind of um, regular, normal, standard um, information. But after this page, the donor is taken to their giving basket page to review the details of their donation, choose options regarding their tax receipt, and enter payment details. So there's steps here where they continue on to complete their donation on CanadaHelps.org. So this current Donate Now process, which is wonderful, as we all know, um, takes the donor through about four pages um, slash steps. So over the years, we have received requests and suggestions on how to make the donation process e easier. So as I mentioned earlier, we finally distilled these requests and have used our usability research to redesign the Donate Now experience. And we are happy to launch them and are confident they will help you re raise even more funds and make a bigger difference. So now imagine we are back 
on the Vancouver Fringe Festival's website. And imagine they created um, a new Donate Now page. So now I am back here and I want to make a donation. So I click um, Donate Now through Canada Helps. And this is what this is an example of what the new Donate Now pages look like. The whole donation process is now housed on a single page, um, making donation, donating easier and faster for your donors. The design is also much simpler, as you can see. Compared to the old pages, the Canada Helps branding has been removed, uh, except for this uh, banner at the top that says donationsbycanadahelps.org. Um, this allows for a seamless transition from your website to the secure Canada Helps Donate Now page and back. So it's a little, it's a less jarring for your um, for your donors to start on your website and then go to this Canada Helps website with the leaves and whatnot. So now it's a little bit more um, what people like to call white label. So we've made it a little bit more seamless for your um, donors. And um, it is all on one page, but of course I had to separate it into slides, which we'll go through um, because of it doesn't, it's, it's too long, it doesn't fit on um, the horizontal slides. So let's actually go through the sections of the page. So the logo, here's the Vancouver International French Festival's logo, and this is populated by what you upload in your My Charity account. And the mission statement here is on the um, right, this is also populated by what you enter in your My Charity account. And again, your um, organizational name and BN, which is standard information. So, in this in this page that the Vancouver Fringe Festival made, they um, designated a fund so that your donation will support. And here is where you can um, enter a fund, or and you can always create funds in your My Charity account at any time. And you can create a new Donate Now page for every fund that you want, or you can create uh, just a regular Donate Now page that where in which the donor can choose which fund to support, which how it works um, currently. And here's the fundraising progress bar, um, which shows um, how donations are going through this particular campaign. And you can decide um, to turn this functionality on or off. So you don't have to have this here, but if you would like it to, then you can turn it on. Another um, new feature is this donation amount feature. So um, this, this, part, this feature allows you, the organization, to include um, donation levels. So you can um, designate different amounts of money and kind of guide the donor on how much to um, donate to your organization. And then you can also um, fill in what does that amount of money provide your organization. So um, this is a great way to show impact. So in this case, for um, this page that says $10, $10 provides an acting workshop for a child. And if we clicked um, $25, $50, $100, the, the description here would change. So that's a great way to show impact and makes the donor feel that they're buying something um, tangible. And as always, um, donors can choose to set up a monthly donation and dedicate their donation and, and leave a message for the charity, which is standard for um, for our old Donate Now pages, so we didn't remove that functionality. Moving, scrolling down or moving on, um, there's the standard donor and tax receipt information for the donor to fill out so that um, they get their tax receipt. Um, we've also included the preference here for um, donors to share their information. So. Um, the feature of the new Donate Now page is that your organization can choose to turn this on or off. So if you turn this um, preference on, donors can choose their what information they'd like to share with you. But if you turn this off on your new Donate Now page, donors will not have the choice. So their information will be shared no matter what. So you're not you're you're cutting out a step, and you're letting you're letting donors um, not have that choice anymore. Scrolling down, we have, of course, the donor has to enter their payment information so that the donation get, goes through to your organization. Um, there's a reminder here at the bottom of how much the donor's credit card will be charged so that it's a review of um, their donations in this um, particular transaction. And there's a statement about how Canada Helps will show up on their statement and not um, Vancouver Fringe or whatever the charity's name is. 
and then when they're all finished, it's, they click this button, I understand, complete donation now. And when that happens, um, this little thank you box pops up and thanks, thanks the donor for their donation, reminds them that they have a confirmation number and also reminds them that that confirmation email and tax receipt will go, um, will be sent to them via email. And um, if your charity filled out a redirect URL, which will be, uh, I'll cover um, when we go through and make a new Donate Now page. So if your charity filled out a redirect URL when creating your page, there will be a countdown and the donor will be automatically redirected to whatever URL you specified. So this is a great new feature as well. So once the donate donor is finished their transaction, um, there's probably like 10 seconds where they're reminded that they'll receive information via email about their donation. And then they will be redirected back to your page if you'd like, if you specified. So it could, this could be like, www.yourcharity.org slash thanks. So you can make a new page on your website and um, direct donors back to your website. Transition is a little bit more seamless. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the new Donate Now pages are mobile optimized. So if a donor visits your Donate Now page on their phone or a tablet or or any sort of smartphone, it will be detected and the donor will be taken to a mobile Donate Now page. So this is what it looks like um, on the iPhone. So it's a lot of the sections that we went through, donation amount and dedication. Here's a few more screenshots of the iPhone, the payment information, um, donor information here. And I've also included some uh, BlackBerry screenshots. So this is what it looks like on BlackBerry. So it's pretty pretty exciting stuff and um, so that's what they look like and now I would like to take you guys through um, how to create a new how to create one of these donate now pages next week when it's released into your accounts so bear with me a moment while I switch over um, my screen and then we can um, go through that demo just a moment All right, so I hope you guys are all still with me and are en and enjoying the presentation so far. So here we are on the CanadaHelps.org website, which you're all familiar with, and here we're going to log into our account here. So I'm logging into the Canada Help. Ooh, that's not good. My caps lock was on. Um, so this is what. We're all familiar with the My Charity um, account. This is what it looks like when you're when you're logged in. So you're going to go to the Donate Now tab here, and this is what it currently looks like. Donate Now link. This is where you get your um, Donate Now image and the code to embed on your website so that um, donors can donate to your website. But next week you'll get a sub tab here called custom donate now and that's where you can create the new pages that I showed you um, just a few seconds ago so let's click custom donate now and this page um, comes up here with a list of pages that um, we've already created so here's all, all the pages that we've already created and you can have numerous amounts of pages going on at the same time and you can edit them whenever you'd like you can deactivate and activate them whenever you'd like so let's create um, a new page so here we'll click the button create a new page and then we're taken to this page here where we can start creating our page so page name let's call this um, Christmas campaign 2012 let's call it Canada helps Christmas campaign 2012 so um, here we can choose a fund for our donation page if we'd like. If we do not want to choose a fund, that's okay. We can say new, no preset fund, let donor choose. And that's how it is currently on um, your current Donate Now page. So when people go to your Donate Now page now, they, um, they, they are opted or they're prompted if you do have funds to choose um, funds themselves. But you can create um, different pages 
different Donate Now pages that are specifically for a fund. So in this case, let's do that. Let's do a um, new technology fund, which is which funds Canada Helps Projects. So I'm choosing that. And at the same time, if you want to make the French page, you can also um, choose the, the French equivalent of that fund, which is here. Um, here's the fun fundraising progress bar. So we can decide to turn this on or off. So let's turn that on and put a goal. Let's put a lofty goal. I don't know, $20,000 for this Christmas. Um, we can always go back and turn this off if we think that's if we want to um, do that, but we don't. Um, we we can, we don't we can decide that later on. So here's the d amount levels. So right when we click amount levels, this these options show up, and this is where we can um, kind of guide our donors to and explain to our donors how much specific amounts of money help our organizations. So we can put a hundred dollars here, and then here we'll will describe what this amount level provides based on our campaign or program. So in this case, I'm just going to put something I'm not really creative, but I'm just going to put this um, provides X, but you get the idea. You can, you can do this provides um, bus tickets for a family for a week or something like that. So we can continue on and do different levels, 200, this provides Y. Three hell, or let's do 500. This provides Z, and then $1,000. This provides amazement. Um, and then when you do decide to do the amount levels, there's always an option for the donor to um, put in their own amount. So this is just a guide, but then on the actual Donate Now page, the donor can always um, enter their own amount, like $55 or whatever they'd like. Again, if we're doing the French page, we can click this button here, and then we'll put the equivalent to what the translation down here. So for each of these, if we wanted to make a French um, Donate Now page, then we would put that under there, but I am not going to do that. So here we can decide whether or not we want to allow donors to make monthly donations or set up recurring donations on this page. So let's turn that on. That would be great. Re monthly donations are great for um, charities. So here we can allow donor to designate donation in memory or honor of someone. Um, sure, let's give them that, that the option. And here is the option, um, allow donor to choose what information they share with your organization. So like I said earlier, so if we turn this off, um, donor will not have, um, the donor will not have that choice. But if we turn that on, we can let the donor choose what they'd like to share with our organization. So let's actually turn that off off. There we go. <laughs> so here um, is where we enter our redirect URL. So this is what I was mentioning earlier where um, here's an example, um, myorg.org slash thanks. So that's a page that you could create um, thanking your donor and bringing them back to their website so it's a seamless transition. So the English URL I'll put down is, let's just t tell donors to come back to um, canadahelps.org. And here we can put um, the French page, which is Canada. Awesome. And this option at the bottom is enter a message to your donors that will appear in the opening paragraph of the donation confirmation email sent by Canada Help. So like I mentioned earlier, after a donor makes a donation, they get a confirmation email, including their tax receipt and their confirmation number. But here's the option for your organization to sort of um, thank them and write something um, more pers um, that's specific to the campaign or specific to the, your organization. So you can say, thank you so much for um, helping us this Christmas. And then again, you can click here to enter the French message. So once we click save, it will tell you donate now page has been saved. If you didn't enter something, if you forgot to enter something that was required, um, the donate now, the system will let you know and then you'll kind of have to go back and figure out what you missed, but it will also show you um, what was required that you missed. So let's go back to all our pages and our Canada Helps Christmas Campaign 2012 is here and we can view that. So here it is. Um, here's all our 
200 provides y, 500 provides z, 1,000 provides mint. And like I was mentioning earlier, the donor can choose other and they can, they're like, this is great, but I want to I wanna donate 2,000 or something like that. So they always, the donor always has the option to enter their own amount. Um, they can do monthly, we allowed that. So here is what the monthly options look like. Um, we allowed, we turned on the dedication um, option here, but it's, and this is what that looks like. They put someone's name there. You can enter a message to the charity. Here's where the donor enters all their donor and tax receipt information. Here's the payment options, um, et cetera. So we can always go back and edit it. We can turn the fundraising progress off. We can turn the monthly donations off. We can turn, um, we turned um, this off so it wasn't there, but we can always go back and turn it back on and save and then go back to our pages and take a look at it. And so the fundraising progress bar is now no longer there. So you can always go back and um, sort of fiddle with it and turn things on and off. And, and I encourage you to um, next week when it is available in your account to play with it, play around with it and see if, and, and, and just get familiar with it so that you can start using them. And um, you can always deactivate it. So that's that button here. And here, get link is where you can get the, the link to your Donate Now page. So if I share this and I, or I make my Donate Now page, I want to change my Donate Now button to, to go to a new Donate Now page instead of the old process, then this is where I'd get the link. So here are all my links to um, all my Donate Now pages. So that is it for my demo. I'm going to switch back to our PowerPoint presentation here. Um, just a moment. And then I'm going to put up our um, contact slide right now. And then I'm going to give you guys a moment to ask any questions. I'm sure you have a lot, and I'm sure Lynn has been answering some of them. But we're going to have time to do questions. And if I am quiet for a moment, it's just because I'm reading the questions and reviewing them and, and, and thinking about how to answer them. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a moment to um, put in, enter your questions. All right, so there's some people who are asking again when the launch or when this will be available in the My Charity accounts. And so the new Donate Now will be launched on Tuesday, December 4th, 2012. We'll also be, we'll also be sending out a reminder or a, an announcement to all our registered charities about that, uh, say, telling them that the um, functionality is now live and you can go experiment with it. Um, Diana is asking, do you have to have an explanation of what does $10 provide, et cetera? You, do not, you are not required to include an explanation for each donation amount. You can just um, put in those amounts and not put in an explanation, but um, we found that some donors like that, so they kind of see what, they kind of have a more tangible um, feeling about what they're donating to, and it's, it's a great way to show donors um, the impact that that donation makes. Just a moment. If I'm quiet for a moment, I'm just um, reading your questions. Thank you, Ian. Ian says he likes it, so I'm just saying thanks, Ian. So Kevin is asking, um, can we can we change the style of the donation page, i.e. colors and um, that sort of thing in the background? Well, at this in this in this um, release of Donate Now, um, you cannot. But um, we, our team is working on that for sort of an improvements for the next round. Um, they're working on ways for charities to customize the colors.
Um, Gaylene is asking, so we need to change the coding on our website to direct to the new specialized page. So that is correct. So if on um, if you do want donors to start using this the new Donate Now page on one page, you'll need to post in your account and then get that link and then update the Donate Now the link in your Donate Now button on your website to the new link that um, to your new do new Donate Now page, if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through. Will you have... Yes, so sorry, I didn't ask, I didn't say the question out loud, I just read it in my mind. So Kimberly is asking, so will the main page that we currently have now stay there even if we create a new Donate Now page? So on, yes, so if you want to use the new Donate Now page and functionality, first you'll have to create a new page, get that link and switch up the old, um, the link that's currently on your um, Donate Now button to the new link. But on that day that we release this new functionality, um, that won't be automatically done for you, so it's up to you if you want to switch that or not. And don't worry, on that day you don't have to switch anything if you don't want to. Um, the, the, the way that Donate Now currently works will continue to work. Um, people are getting a bit confused about the link. So let me kind of go through it um, with you a bit. Let me um, show my Canada Helps page again. So I'm, I think some of you are familiar with this. Currently you have the Donate Now button, like one of these buttons, or something that you created yourself. And the way you got this button and the link and the code for that is I chose this set of buttons, and here is the um, HTML code that we provided. So in this, um, currently, most of you will have this functionality on your website, this button, and this button leads to this link, which is the, which is the four pages of Donate Now, um, step one, step two, step three, step four. But if I wanted to, so if I wanted to um, make this process on December fourth, when th that functionality is cr created, uh, is is released into our accounts, I would have to go to Custom Donate Now, create a page, experiment with this, find out if I want a user or not, and if I wanted to lead customers to the or donors to the new Donate Now page, I would have to get this link right here. CanadaHelps.org/dn/slash/six, which will be different for everyone. Take that link and uh, sorry, and then switch that link, the old link, to the new link. If that makes any sense? You might want to get your webmaster to help you out. Um, it's not complicated because basically this is um, this button is a photo is a picture that is a link. So that link currently leads to this link here, charity ID, which is the old process. So if you wanted this new, you wanted the new process, you would have to change this link to the new donate now link. But first you'd have to create that page. It sounds really like back and forth, but it's all you have to do is go into your custom Donate Now functionality, create that page, the link. That's all you're doing. You're, you're switching up links. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just reading the questions. So Hilda's asking, so now we can have multiple Donate Now pages that we can use for specific fundraising events. And Hilda, that's 100% correct. So the, the way that we see um, 
one way that we see charities using this is creating separate um, custom Donate Now pages um, for each of for ongoing um, campaigns or events that they're running so that um, donors don't have to choose um, the fund or um, do anything like that. So you can have a specific page for, you know, uh, spring spring fundraiser and the, the, the other fundraiser that's going on, the cookie drive that's going on at the same time. You can have two Donate Now pages going on at the same time, which is great. Okay, so it looks like um, I covered a lot of ground with that link um, explanation. So there is, Dawn is asking if there's a number of page, a limit of pages that you can create, and no, there isn't. You can create as many as you want. Um, we, we highly suggest that on December um, 4th, you guys log in, kind of get familiar with it. Um, doesn't You don't have to make the decision right away to do the switch, um, but we do recommend that you experiment with it and kind of get familiar with all the functionality um, and talk to your um, organization about it, your board and your CEOs or your CEO about it and um, just get familiar with it because you do have that time to um, do that before you make anything, any switches. So thank you all again for joining me today and asking your wonderful questions. Um, and we hope that next Tuesday you'll all be um, making new Donate Now pages and testing them out. Um, and have a great rest of the afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much.